transaction so incompetently negotiated as our deal with Iran. His opponents in the party desperate to build a wall between themselves and Trump. Mitt Romney. Mr. Trump's bombast is already alarming our allies and fueling the enmity of our enemies. There are other people in our party who actually are kind of horrified by Donald Trump. Carly Fiorina. I'm one yep. of them. Guys, we have a con artist as the front runner in the Republican Party. Marco Rubio. Strategist Rick Wilson. Once you're president, you have this awesome and terrible responsibility to actually be president. Yeah, so why did they get all these good Republicans out uh, and we're that. left with this loser? You have to run a government, run a country. Um, I think his judgment is so terrible. I want a general where we knock the hell out of him. Yes. It's going to be a disaster on, on every front. We can't believe a word Trump says. Republican strategist Rick Wilson. He's all hot the air. The presidency of Donald J. Trump would destroy the Republican Party. Yeah. And severely damage the U.S. It's going to wreck the American economy in ways that are going to that it's going to reverberate for decades. He wants to feed that monster he's built, and he's going to try to do it. It's going to be nearly impossible. It's going to cause enormous disruption. Disruption is a theme at Trump rallies. A black protester is suffering. Actually, um, the Clintons are pretty good about good with that. in demagoguery. Another protester lies on the ground, surrounded by police. Well, these protesters are actually a lot more violent than than the liberal media would have everyone believe. A reporter is thrown to the ground, and they're verbally flogged by Trump to the cheers of his crowd. Yeah, well, Trump is a big mouth. That's why I don't like him. These people, but I'd never kill them. I hate them. No, I think no. These people, I would never kill them. Uh, let's see. No, I wouldn't. He's bound to clamp down on freedom of the press. If Are you kidding me? Oh, the left is already uh, doing that. That's why the media is so terribly left-leaning already. Republican Rick Wilson worries what more Donald Trump could do with all of the power of the Oval Office. We're looking at this uh, guy who is this a sounds like a, a great showman. like um, the paranoia but over Obama that the far right had control, when he was coming into uh, office. A vengeful streak and a, and, a, and a vicious temper, control of 7,700 nuclear weapons. Yeah, vicious temper. Yeah, you don't want someone like that in power. Thank you. Since he declared his candidacy, most assumed there would come a tipping point for Trump. When someone would trip him up, or he'd trip himself, it's what Tom So that's thought. why they let this bozo in? I keep thinking that there is a breaking point, but there seems not to be. No, they're, I mean, the this guy just, are either running he loves trouble too much. Holding their head in their hands or saying, all we're going to do if we get this guy as a nominee. The they already got him as a nominee. He engaged in uh, at any other time in American political life would have been a kind of knife in the heart of the candidate. But uh, we have changed, and part of it is the culture of America. On a stage, his large family is by his side. Which is why this has been one of the most extraordinary episodes in American politics. Extraordinary? Hoping to make history in the White House. That's not the word I would use. in for a vicious fight. People ask me all the time, well, who do I want to run against? That's not for me to decide. Hillary Clinton. But given what they've all said, I will take any one of them. Yeah, she's another scary one. The billionaire who's somehow surrogate for the little guy. His party running against its own presumptive nominee. The vulgarity and half-truths seen as candor and a fresh voice. Blame it all on the establishment. Credit a clever strategy. Or call it a perfect political storm. Journalist Matt Taibbi. It's it, it's brilliant in a lot of ways what he's done. He's, he's manipulated the entire uh, political media system. In a photo, an angry Trump snarls. And I snarl back. It's like any, any good long con. You know, everybody's gone from the scene by the time you, you realize you lost your money. That's what it's going to be like with Trump. People are not going to realize what, what he's accomplished until he's already in the White House. The Fire Breather. The Fifth Estate. Yeah, when I first turned that program on, one of the first things I heard, they were talking about Trump, and then they said something about 60-some percent of Trump supporters believe that Obama is a Muslim. Give me a pick and break! Most people, most Republicans, do not believe that. It's only the far-right loons that believe that crap. 
That's what I mean. The mainstream media shows like this don't show everything. They only try to show the looniest part of whatever party they're opposing. And yes, the media is biased. Right now they're biased towards Democrat and away from Republicans. Although I have to give this particular program credit for letting Republicans on the show to speak against Trump because we need more of that. I still don't know how the heck they got this moron all, all the way into the uh, nominations for U.S. president. I just don't get it because there were so many other good people that could have could have done it. And it went it fell to this guy. I just don't get it. He's nothing but a reality TV buffoon who's he can't his word can't be trusted. He's a big mouth. He loves to hear himself talk. Uh, I would imagine he would be quite happy staring himself in the mirror all day long and admiring how gorgeous he or, and tough and macho and alpha male he thinks he is. Well, if he and I were to ever meet on the street and he thought he could give me a beat down, verbally beat down, not physical beat down, I would not get out of his way. He would have to move out of my way. Or he would have to move me out of his way, as in physically pick me up and move me out of his way. Because I wouldn't get out of the way for this guy. As far as I'm concerned, he is a laughing stock, and he should not be in the Republican Party at all. No matter what he claims. Goodbye for now.